Saturn 3 is on. I don't want to watch Saturn 3. Deep Space Nine is better. How is Deep Space Nine better than Saturn 3? Simple subtraction will tell you it's six better. <laughs> compromise, watch Babylon 5. <laughs> In what sense is that a compromise? Well, five is part way between three. Never mind. <laughs> I'll tell you what, how about we go rock, paper, scissors? Ooh, I don't think so. No. Anecdotal evidence suggests that in a game of rock, paper, scissors, players familiar with each other will tie 75 to 80% of the time due to the limited number of outcomes. I suggest rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. <laughs> what? Oh, it's very simple. Look, scissors cuts paper, paper covers rock. Rock crushes lizard, lizard poisons Spock. Spock smashes scissors, scissors decapitates lizard, lizard eats paper, paper disproves Spock, Spock vaporizes rock, and as it always has, rock crushes scissors. Okay, I think I got it. Hey guys, Max here. So that was a clip from the TV show The Big Bang Theory, um, which is a pretty funny show. You guys should check it out. So I was at this um, Python programming camp. Um, and we were learning about if statements, these little thingies right here. And so I was thinking about ways I could use them, and then I remembered this clip. And so I decided I would make rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock in Python, which if you don't know is a fairly simple programming language compared to many others. Uh, it's good for beginner people and people who have no clue what they're doing like me. So. <laughs> Uh, this is my code. Um, after I show you myself playing the game, um, I'll sort of explain what some of this is. Uh, but I'll play the game first, just so people don't get bored. Um, so basically, as you can see, I was playing this earlier on a couple of my first takes. So the game asks you to enter R for rock, P for paper, S for lizard, L for... Wait, no, S for scissors, L for lizard, SP for Spock, or EX for exit. So, what should I choose? Let's try scissors. Rock viciously pulverizes scissors into a pile of twisted metal, so I lose. Let's try Spock. Uh, you both chose Spock, it's a tie. Uh, it's me versus the computer, by the way. Um, let's try Rock. Let's just keep doing this and see what happens. Uh, rock crushes Lizard's skull, I win. I lose. I lose. I lose. I win. I lose, I win, and I tie. So now that we've had a good bit of game, um, that's basically all there is to it. It's not a very complicated game. Uh, let's type exit. So I tied two times, I won five times, I lost five times, and my ratio was one, which doesn't seem right. I believe there's something messed up about the ratio because it was giving me zero before. I'll have to go in and look at this code. I typed this up several weeks ago, so I'm a little rusty as to what I was doing. Um, it will probably take me a while of reading through it to figure out what's wrong with the ratio thing. It's probably something really obvious, but yeah, whatever. So now to the code. Um, to start off, uh, import random and this little phrase right here go together. Basically uh, what happens is the computer will choose a random integer between 1 and 5 and now under here I have a statement saying basically if it chooses this number then it means this. If it chooses this number it means this. So um, down here this else is like whatever's left over is Spock. So that is how the computer makes its decision. Now, um, this state, uh, this statement right here, uh, is what types out the enter R for rock, P paper, S scissors, etc., etc. Um, et cetera, whatever, Latin students. Um, uh, I lost my train of thought. So yeah, that's how uh, this pops up on the screen. And whatever you choose after this comes up on the screen uh, is going to be called user choice. So that's a variable. It's sort of like X or Y or whatever in math, except this stands for a letter. So under here, these are statements 
basically planning out every possible outcome of the game. So, um, say the user chooses R. Then, if the computer chooses R, then it's a tie. If the computer chooses P, it's a, uh, you lose. And under here, it says um, what the computer is going to tell you after each round, uh, depending on the outcome. So basically, uh, like, if this does this, then it's a tie. If this does this, it's a, le it's a loss, et cetera, et cetera. It's whatever, all the way down through here. Basically just planning out every possible outcome. This was the most time consuming part of it. These hashtags uh, basically tell the computer to ignore whatever comes after it. So I can just like use them as little note taking things. Now, this entire game is in what's called a while loop, which will basically mean that this entire program runs over and over and over and over and over and over and over until you type exit or until done is equal to false. No, until done is equal to true, sorry. Uh, right now, uh, these are basically me just stating what my variables start off as. See, uh, wins start at zero, losses start at zero, ties start at zero, and done it starts at false. So down here, if you type uh, exit, then done will equal to then it will set done to true and the game will end. But before it does that, it prints uh, ties are and then the number of ties. Wins are the number of wins. And the way it finds these numbers are it comes up here and it looks. After each um, outcome, uh, it'll say, like, if you tie, it'll say number of ties is equal to number of ties plus one. So that'll change uh, what was a zero to a one. And if it was at two, then it'll change it to a three. And so basically it'll just add one to all these numbers, all these variables. So by the time you're done with the game, these variables are the amount of ties, wins, or losses. So uh, it'll give you the accurate number, the accurate counter of the different ties, wins, and losses. And here is where I have the bug um, your win to lose ratio, win to loss, whatever. Um, it should be number of wins divided by number of losses or something like that. Like I said, it's been a while since I did this. So there's a bug somewhere in here with these two variables. I'm not going to go back and look at it right now. But that's basically how the game runs. Um, let's start this up again, play one more round, and then I'll end the video. Uh, let's do rock. Rock, beat, scissors, I win. Uh, if you type something that wasn't one of the options, like SL, uh, it'll just ask you again. As scissors, rock viciously pulverizes scissors into a pile of twisted metal. Nice. Lizard, uh, tie. Lizard, oh wait, lizard, rock viciously beats lizard skull. Nice. Lizard. Lizard, lizard, lizard. Uh, you both chose lizard. Tie. Um, lizard eats paper. Om nom nom. You win. Okay. I don't actually remember what I wrote for all these statements, so I'm kind of rediscovering what I did. Uh, scissors decapitates lizard, so I lose. Hmm. Let's try Spock. Spock. Spock vaporizes rock. I win. I win. I lose. I win. So yeah, let's type exit. Ties two, wins five, losses eight, and the win to the ratio is broken. Um, so yeah, guys, I have a couple of other games I made in Python. I might make I might make videos of those some other time. Uh, I'm currently working on a little top-down third-person shooter thing with involving ninjas, but <laughs> it's not quite complete. I'll show you that some other time. I think I may have lost part of the code, so I'll have to read code some of it and redo some of the artwork. But for now, uh, that's pretty much it. I'll leave a link to the 
Python website and the Pygame website. So you guys can check it out if you're interested in this stuff. Uh, you probably won't be. But if you are, I'll leave that there for you. Um, you can find plenty of tutorials in this stuff um, on YouTube. I might make some. Probably not. I suck at tutorials. Uh, there's a reason I took down my first TechIt server tutorial. Um, so anyway, if you liked it, feel free to hit the like button. If you disliked it, feel free to not hit the like button. Uh, if you just don't care and thought this video was boring, feel free to click on another video and watch that instead. Uh, if you really liked it and or know who I am, uh, actually, you probably shouldn't subscribe if you know who I am. Don't, don't subscribe if you know who I am. Yeah. But anyway, if you want to, you can subscribe. Uh, thanks, guys. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Max signing off.